Right guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're going to discuss Chapter Master Dante. Uh, we've got Matthew with me from the Blood Angels group who has been following my little quest to try and make Blood Angels competitive. So welcome to the channel, Matthew. Thank you very much. Uh, hello guys. Uh, so we are going to discuss Dante. Uh, after coming across Ian's Azrael, uh, I was like, why doesn't Dante have this cool stuff? And, and then the other day, uh, I fought against Logan Grimnar. Uh, and Drew told me how many wounds he had, and I was like, why doesn't Dante have this cool stuff? Why doesn't Dante uh, well, have the cool stuff, Matthew? Well, because, first of all, Azrael is a heretic, so he has to have some bonuses, you know, <laughs> to, co to compensate for his overall weakness as a chapter. Um, <laughs> and then... Grimnar is just another space poopy, so, you know, can't expect too much. No, no. So, <laughs> we're sat here with, with Codex Space Marines and Wolves, yeah. Dark Angels, Blood Angels, even Grey Knights. Um, and we're looking through, and first of all, it's the first time we both realise that the Imperial Fists and the Iron Hands don't have a chapter master in Codex Space Marines. Also, a little disclaimer for Grey Knights, we put Draco and Voltus because technically they're both currently a chapter master. They're classified as a chapter master. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, first of all, let's talk about point cost. Okay. In fact, you know what? Let's not even go with point cost. Let's have a look at our beloved chapter master, Matthew. So, on paper. Under Dante. On paper. He's not bad. You look at him and you think, yeah, he's cool. Now, of course, he was uh, awarded the title of, uh, was it Lord Imperium Nihilus? Or something yes. along those lines by Gilliman? Commander, Commander Regent, I believe it was, or something like that. That's it. I'm still, by... I'm still yeah. listening to Devastation of Al because I can't read for Toffee. So I'm listening to it. And it's, thir okay. it's 13 hours long, right? Fantastic book. I read it in like one sitting when yeah. I got it. I actually bought the book because when I was at Warhammer World, Guy Haley was there, so I had to get it signed. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> so, let's have a look anyway. at our beloved Commander Dante, okay? See, looking at his abilities, the first thing that you can notice is the apparent lack of any special rules. Unique special rules, I should say. Sure, he has a chapter master keyword, like every other chapter master. That mask is not a unique piece of equipment. No. Sanguinary Guard can have it. And the Iron Halo, has it. Yes. Iron Halo, every chapter master has it, basically. Every and captain has jump, it. Uh, every captain has it, yeah. And then jump back. That's it. Yeah. No special rules. That is literally it. For 215 points, you don't get a single special rule. Nope. 40 stats, moves 12 because of jump pack. Weapon skill 2 plus, same as a captain. Ballistic skill 2 plus, same as a captain. Uh, strength 4, toughness 4, 6 wounds. So he's got, what, one more than a captain? The captain has 5. I'm just Hold on. Clicking. I'll tell you now. Yes, 5 wounds. Yeah, so he's got one more wound, 2 more attacks. His leadership 9. For some reason, maybe Why? psychic power, psychic powers. There are psychic powers. I think Dark Angels have some that affect your leadership and he, can do mortal wounds if they beat it. He is a chapter master. Why? It should be. T In fact, out of curiosity, are the others ten? Uh, which, actually, I tell you right now, I wouldn't be assuming with Drago. Uh, no, Drago has nine as well. Uh, and he's got two up save because, of course, artificer armor. Um, so, you know, in that respect, he's got a 2 armor save and he's got a jump pack. You know, 6 attacks for Chapter Master to rerolls hits is, and hits on tools is not bad. It's, it's decent. It's pretty good. It is. He's got an Infernal Pistol, so I think they're like 9 which points. Again, 9 which points again, is, it's, a, it's more of a common item, not a personal item that it's unique to him. Yeah, I mean, Death Company can take them, Soul Squads can take them, yeah. Lots. Chaplain, Sanguinary Priest. They can all take them. Yeah. Dragon Crack Grenades. Now, the only unique unique thing about him is his axe. Axe Mortalis. 
strength plus two, minus three AP, damage D3, and has a special rule where it rerolls failed wounds against a character. He strength, so basically, he, he, he strength, are, he strength six, right? Yeah, yeah. So you wound most things on threes. Twos because of your own trait, uh, the Blue Angels trait when you charge. It, it, it's not terrible when you look at that, right? But I feel D3 damage is, is too unreliable for a relic weapon. That's true. Also, when you look at his statistics, his abilities, his coin, the points cost, you realize you're paying 215 points for a single model with six wounds, with six attacks, just to get the Axe Mortality special. That's it. Now, if we look at two, two captains, right, without Storm Shields, comes in it slightly over double. Uh, I thought uh, you sorry, sli slightly over the points it's of Dante. It's 117 point. No, it's 114 points with no Storm Shield, just under Hammer at Jetpack. Yeah. So for 228 points, you can get two captains with Thunder Hammers, which are doing three damage, hitting on threes, re-rolling ones, still the four save. Do you know what I mean? And they're going to be wounding things on twos, even if they don't charge. Since technically Axe Mortalis is a relic, you can get a relic of ball, a hammer of ball. Yeah. To make his weapon a relic as well, to make it more balanced. And then you hit on twos. Mm-hmm. For 215 points, you do not get a lot. You do not get a single special unique rule, and you get only one special piece of equipment. Shall we look at our traitorous brother? Azrael, the good old <laughs> Azrael. The good old parking lot army. First of all, how many points is Azrael? 180. So that is 25 points less. Uh, 35. Yes. <laughs> and I'm supposed to be the accountant. <laughs> so. I don't know how, how about you, but here it's quite late, so it's acceptable. <laughs> so, stat line. Yes. Move 6. Yeah. Weapon skill and ballistic skill 2. Plus. Strength and toughness 4. 6 wounds. 6 attacks. 5. 5 attacks. 1 less attack. Leadership 9. Armor save. Two up. Two plus. Cool. Almost the same. One less attack. So half, half the movement and one less attack. Yeah. So yeah, fair enough, he's a little bit cheaper. However, yeah. let's look at his weapon. Sword of Secrets. It's plus two, minus three, D3. Exact same as the axe. Yes. But the special rule. Each time you make a wound roll of 6 plus, the target suffers a mortal wound in addition to any other damage. Yeah. So he has 5 attacks, and he rerolls once, so if we're going by statistics, he should roll at least 1 6. And each one of them is minus 3 d3. In fairness, he doesn't get the plus 1 to 1 from Blood Angels, because he's a Dark Angel. So we can compare the damage output of both of those weapons to be somewhat the same because the six up is not that reliable to get. No, and well, Dan, Dan is going to be wounded on twos, and if he hits a character, um, he gets to reroll the one. Yeah, which you most likely the only thing you'll be using Dan is for hunting characters, basically. So the damage output is pretty much the same. Because so when he would be wounding on trees, meaning he should probably fail like one or two attacks. Yeah. So three of them would go go through, and one of them would be a mortal wound. While Dante's all five attacks should go in, because he'd be wounding on two zero running ones. Yeah. So the damage is more or less balanced. Now, the difference between those two chapter masters are their special rules. Because, as we know, Dante has none, basically. No special rules for him. Nope. While Azrael, for 180 points, the biggest rule, I think, for him is Lionhelm. This Lionhelm 
creates a four up and one save bubble of six inches. For for units within six, not wholly within. No, not wholly, but it's models. Ah. It's not unit, it's a model. So it's not as broken, but it's still like four up into one bubble. You have ten hell blasters that you you can probably fit all of them. Yeah. Now, when the index came out, his lion helm would work while he was in a vehicle. So you could have him in a rhino, and he would still provide the for a bubble. Yeah, that was that was horrendous. They they executed in the codex release, but and it doesn't work on vehicles anymore, like it used to. I think I believe I believe it used to work on vehicles as well. But the issue is, he still provides all of them rerolls, gives a four invulnerable bubble. Yeah. Okay, now you start. I know you you're starting to say right. Azrael's got one less attack. He doesn't move as fast, and he's got four bin one bubble. Four bin one bubble is good. He's point less than point less points than Dante at this point, and you're thinking he's probably still better. I'd rather have the four bin one. Yeah, he even though he doesn't output as he doesn't give as much damage as Dante no. because of the reroll two wounds against the six up to cause a mortal wound. But he also has a combi plasma, which of course he can reroll his failed misses, and an overcharged yeah. combi plasma, of course, even with the bolt guns, can still hurt models. With Dante, you have to get within six to use the Infernus pistol. That's not everything, though, is it? That. That's not everything, though, is it? <laughs> to go through. <laughs> Next one is Lion's Wrath. Now, this is basically linked to the Master Crafted Bolt Gun and the Plasma Gun. That's basically just different name for a Master Crafted a bolt, a combi bolter with a plasma. Because it, the, the rule for it is basically the same as for a regular combi plasma bolt gun. Yeah. So you have master crafted bolt gun and plasma. If you should both of them, you get minus one to hit. So that's pretty straightforward. Even though there's a fancy name, Lion's Rat, there's no special bonuses. Yeah. And then the one thing, one special rule that has me the most, that makes me hate the character, right? That makes me hate Azrael, is a Supreme Tactician. If your army is Battle Forge, you receive one additional command point if Azrael is a Warlord. So even though in lore it's established that Dante is better tactician than basically only Gilliman, Gilliman is better than him, as he said in the Devastation of all. And even there, he was. Gerleman was surprised how how many achievements Dante had, and yet Azrael gets a bonus for being a warlord. So we all know in Fluff that Dante is a supreme tactician because I, I don't remember the name of the battle, but there was a battle where the Salamanders and the Ultramarines teamed up with the Blood Angels, and Vulcan and Kalgar were both there. And they deferred but, uh, command to Dante. Battle of Armageddon. Yeah, and they deferred command over to Dante. Who is the supreme tactician, please? Uh, sadly, according to their rules, Azrael. Yep. And that's not everything, because what else does Azrael do? What's his warlord trait? Now his world trait is brilliant strategist. Yeah, regain Once, a command yeah. point on a five up. Yeah, exactly like our Vertus Vitae. Yeah, which is a relic, which is fine, fair enough. However, Dante's warlord trait, heroic bearing, friendly blood angel units automatically pass morale whilst they're within six. Well, which can be useful. In, but it's very situational because realistically when are you going to run a squad much bigger than sort of 
five, six, seven marines. That's exactly the thing. Unless you go for some weird build where you have all 15 death company maxed out. Yeah. Or you have all 10 secondary card, but at the same time, you can take Sanguinar. He has the exact same roller tray. Yeah. And he actually provides buffs for the army. Yeah. <laughs> and if he is Warlord, Seminary Guard gets to reroll hits. Yeah. Meaning the Chapter Master rule is... Pointless. Pointless. Yeah. And if you've got Death Company, you've got Lamartes, which means you reroll no hits anyway. Exactly. So... Or you can take Astorad and have them reroll hits, auto-pass morale, and he's just uh, he also rewards failed hits for all the blood angels in his Yep. Which, like, uh, it's kind of pointless, but to have Dante as a warlord. Yep. However, there is other chapter masters as well. Oh, yeah. Sh shall we have a look at Logan Santa Baby? <laughs> Poopy master. Yep. Uh, a lot of space wolves players would be angry. <laughs> <laughs> I recently I recently teams. played against him, and in fairness, I took him down. Uh, but it was a combination of a relic, a stratagem, wall trait, and yeah, <laughs> with a necron, I might add. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, uh, entropic strike me, and you can't take invulnerable saves. Yeah. So yeah, that was the thing. So yes, so Lo the, uh, Logan Grimnar. Uh, yeah. Uh, movement five, so that's even below Space Marine. That's because of the Terminator armor, though. That's yeah. I was I was going to get there, but yeah, that's pretty much the only reason why he's movement five. Weapon skill, ballistic skill two up, so standard. Strength for toughness for again standard. Now, wounds. His wounds are seven. Because of the Terminator armor. Yeah, but if you look at other captains or chapter masters in Terminator armor, they I don't think they have seven wounds. At most, I think it's six or five. Let's look at the captain, for example, in a Terminator armor. So if we establish that captain has one wound less than a chapter master, that should mean he should have six wounds in the Terminator armor. Which they do. Captain the Cataphracti armor, six wounds. Yeah, so you actually get an extra wound for being in Terminator uh, armor. Yeah, that, I didn't know that. Captain Terminator armor, six wounds. Okay, that's interesting. I think it's the same with bikes as well. You naturally get an extra wound uh, with bikes. Chaplain on bike, five wounds. Chaplain regular, four wounds. Yeah. Yeah. Chaplain and Terminator, five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Never noticed that. <laughs> Because no one's running Terminators, that's why. <laughs> yeah, that, that's that's the other thing, yeah. But anyway, five attacks, leadership nine, armor two up. Iron Halo. Um, no, it's they have all their fancy names, so it's called Belt of Rus, which is basically Iron Halo. Right. Chapter Master rule: given reroll all failed hits to space puppies. Space yeah. Uh, what other special rules does he have? Teleport strike, so it's, it's the same as Terminator one, where he deep, deep strikes nine inches away. Yep. And he has High King of Fenris. Uh, wolf guard within six of him passes morale. Auto passes morale. So, almost the same as Dante, just using Terminator armor rather than with a jump path. Yeah. And he has one more wound, one death attack. Yeah. But. But his attacks are decent because he's got two different firing modes essentially with his axe. One is pretty much the same as Dante strength plus two minus three d3 damage, I believe. Uh, but then he can actually swing it two handed, which essentially gives him a thunder hammer. Only the, the other difference being he doesn't reroll failed once against uh, failed uh, once against characters. So he still but, he still has that rule. Uh, no, no. Uh, I mean he doesn't have he doesn't reroll. All oh, right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's what I mean. The difference between that and him is 
that Dante rerolls, he doesn't, but he can turn it into a Thunder Hammer. Yeah. So, uh, you know, on par with Dante, I would say, you know, almost the same. He's a little bit slower when he's on the ground, but he's got an extra he's wound. Deep yeah, he can still deep strike. He's got, he's got one less attack, but he's got an extra wound. But he has the versatility of being able to either get multiple attacks off, um, you know, without any penalty to hit, or, in fact, the hammer's minus one to hit, right? Space Wolf trait is plus one to hit if you charge or are charged. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. So technically, you you uh, hitting on twos, re rolling one still. Yeah, with a thunder hammer. Yeah. <laughs> nuts, absolutely nuts. And how many points is Grimnar? Uh, one seventy. So he's even less than Azrael. Now, if you mm-hmm. compare Azrael and Grimnar, right? Yeah, yeah. I still think Azrael's cheap compared to Grimnar. For ten more points for what you get there. I believe Azrael is much better chapter master per rules than Grimnar. Yeah. He but, provides more buffs for the army overall than Grimnar. Absolutely agree. When you compare Grimnar to Dante, you know, granted one's in Terminator armor, one's with a jump pack, they've almost got the same rules, apart from Grimnar can swing a thunder hammer. Yeah. Yeah. Why is Dante 45 points more that's 25% more because GW hates Space Marine Space the Blood Angels characters <laughs> yeah there is that, that. That, that, that that's my theory I'll tell you what let's have a look at another chapter master let's have a look at Caldo Drago yeah. his sword is going to be almost the same in fact I believe his sword is strength 7 Let's have a look. Uh, the Titan Sword. Strength plus 4, <laughs> minus 4 AP, minus 4, uh, flat 3. Right. Why hasn't Dante got that? Because he's not a sp- um, space marine traveling to warp maniac. But <laughs> strength plus 4. Why mm-hmm. 4? Why is he strength 8? Because apparently he can carry a weapon that's used by the Dread Knights. I think they use Titan Swords. A massive walking Dread Knight. Okay, minus four you can kind of accept. It's a relic power sword, much yeah. like the Sanguinors. And you can accept yeah. Dante's axe, yes. It, you know, it gives you a bit extra strength. But And you can accept the, like, you know, the one less AP. But... A flat three damage. So it's basically a thunder hammer with one better AP. And without the negatives to hit. Yeah, and without negatives to hit. It's basically a better thunder hammer. Now, of course, Drago also gives the reroll failed saves, uh, rerolled um, failed hits. Uh, let me see. For Grey Knight Something. units. Um, and obviously, he's Terminator armor. Yeah, he's got yeah, deep chapter strike. Mas- chapter master rule, yeah. Uh, it's called yeah it's basically like a deep strike roll but not not just that he's got a <laughs> storm shield as well so he's got a 3 up invulnerable save yeah storm shield yes he does and uh, he how? has more special rolls yep <laughs> bane of evil now frankly this is purely against demons well, what what grey knights are supposed to do but anyway when a friendly Grey Knight's unit within 6 of uh, Draco makes an attack against Demon in a fight phase, you can reroll damage rolls for that unit. So, you know, it's just against Demons, like against one army. So, you know, it's yeah. it's it's fluffy. I'll give it that. It's fluffy. That's how it's supposed to be. Grey Knights are supposed to be like that. How many wounds yes. does he have? Uh, seven. <laughs> Terminator armor? Okay, yeah. okay. I can accept it. Yeah, Terminator armor, yeah. How many attacks has he got? Five. Okay. One less, but I would gladly take one less attack on Dante if I could have that flat three damage. Gladly. Also has Demon Hunter special rule, which is against any demons in the fight phase, we were failed wounds. So again, against demons fluffy. Yeah, much like Dante's reroll against characters. Yeah, and then he has one more thing. <laughs> Rights of banishment. When and oh, also he's a psyker. Yeah. 
So that's uh, Rise of Banishment. It's basically when you manifest a smite psychic power, it has range of 12 instead of 18. Additionally, the target unit suffers only one mortal wound rather than D3, unless the target is a demon, which then it's flat tree, which again, it's fluffy. Yeah, like that, that's, that, that's, that's the smite uh, rule for Grey Knight, so he's got that. Yeah. How many powers can he cast, actually? Uh, where is it? Cast two, deny two, non two. But still, that you know, that's not bad. That's pretty good on par with the chap uh, librarians, chief librarians. How many points is he? Two forty. Two thirty was that. Two forty. Two forty. Right. So he's a li he's actually a little bit more than Dante. What's his warlord trait? Uh, warlord trait: Demon Slayer. If your warlord wounds a demon in a fight phase, your opponent must subtract one from any invent saves made against the attack. It's situational. I, you know. Oh, you, you know what? That would be really good against like Mortarion. Yes. Like Primarchs, demon Primarchs. That would just destroy them. Now, the instead thi of having yeah. The, the thing with that is right. It's minus four. It's strength eight. It's three damage. And he's a psyker. And he's 25 points more than Dante. Yeah. And he's basically really good against any demons, which he's supposed to be, but also against Primax. Yeah. Because Demon uh, Primax. Yeah. He's good. He, he, even if you put him up against Bobby G, he's still got a fair chance of taking Bobby G out with his flat three damage. Yeah. Uh, he has three up in one, which would be hard to take him down as well. Yeah. Instead of a four up of that. Absolutely. So, what about Voldus? He is 190 points. He is a psyker. He's a better psyker because he can cast three, deny three, and he knows three powers. Uh, his movement is five, Terminator armor. Is it Terminator armor? Yeah. Yes. But interesting, he has six wounds, not seven, like uh, Drago. Right. He has five attacks, and all the other statistics are exactly the same, except he has four up and not three up and one. Because he hasn't got the storm shield. Yeah, he doesn't. He doesn't have a storm shield. Uh, he has iron hail. So he's only got the four in one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he also has rights of banishment. He has the Deep Striker rule, he has the Demon Hunter rule, and he re oh, he re rolls failed hit rolls of one for friendly Grey Knights within six. Ah, so you would only actually count as a captain then? Yep, yeah, he is listed as a Grand Master, but in his rules, he re rolls only hit rolls of one. Right. Which is weird. Mm. Because Grand Master is. A equivalent of a chapter master. Yeah. But he doesn't have a chapter master special role. He has a captain role. I just what? Well, that's interesting. What about his hammer though? Because his hammer's not bad. Uh, Maleus Argerium. <laughs> okay. It's basically a thunder. Three three. Can you say that again? You broke up there. Oh, sorry, it's basically a thunder hammer, without the minus to hit, which is still decent. Yeah. And how many points is Voldus? One ninety. Yeah, I think he's okay, but I don't think he's in Drago and Azrael League. No, but I believe he is better support character. Yeah, absolutely. Just because he can cast and deny three powers. Absolutely, and and still giving out the reroll ones bubble is still pretty good. Yeah. So especially with like sanctuary and hammer hunt, uh, psychic powers, he can boost and still cast one more on top of that. Exactly, and of course it is one drop. You can't target them, um, and you know being able to get them three characters, uh, get them three spells off is important. However, we do have other chapter masters from the not as popular. Uh, 
chapters. We've got uh, Helbrecht, we've got uh, Khan, uh, Vulcan, and of course, Shrike. There is another one, of course, which we will get to. Which one should we look at first, Matthew? I would say Helbrecht. Okay. A lot of people love Blood Temple Irish Sea, but they don't get that much love, so let's show them some love. Excellent. So, uh, Weapon Skill, Ballistic Skill 2+, plus, Movement 6, Strength Toughness 4, 6 Wounds, 4 Attacks, 1 mm. Less, Leadership 9, 2 plus Armor Save. He's got a Combi Melter, so, you know, Combi Plasma like what Asriel has, but Combi Melter. Nothing special about it. But he's got the Sword of the High Marshal. Strength plus one, minus three, d3 damage. It has a special rule though, which is pretty good. Helbrecht can make d3 additional attacks with this weapon if he, he charged in his turn. Yeah. So basically a red rampage. Yeah. It's not bad. No. It's not great. And bring his attacks with an average roll to the to Dante. Yeah. With six attacks. And with a really good roll, it can give him seven attacks. But it's only strength five. Yeah, it's only strength five. Uh, of course, he gives all failed re rolls. Ah! Yep. Special Crusade rule of Crusade of Wrath, yes. Uh, plus one strength characteristic to all Black Templar units whilst they are within six inches. He counts as within range of himself, so he is actually strength six. Yeah. So, you know what? That's not bad. Also, that basically means that it's kind of on par, well, it's nowhere near Red Thirst. But when you think about all the Space Marine units yeah. that would be around him, that would be strength four. That means they would be strength five. Yeah. So basically, anything that would charge them, that would charge Blood Angels, would be Strength 5, just as Blood Angels would be Strength 5 because of Red Terrorist, plus 1 to 1. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. How many points is this guy? 170. Mm, see, Grimnar is still better. I don't think this guy is, is great. But he's cool. Yeah. I mean... Grimmer has a better weapon, that's just without denying. He has a better weapon. But I really like the plus one strength yeah. unit. It says uh, models, models. Not units, so a model has to be within six of them. Yes. Which, you know, it's still not bad. It... Stick him in a rhino with like nine veterans. Yeah. Absolutely. No, he, ha he, ha he, he is not useless as a chapter master, let's put it this way. No. He, he, has, he, he has his strengths and his uses in the army. He buffs the units around him and he's not bad at fighting. Yeah, pretty much. He's okay. I don't think he's too bad. Yeah, more, more balanced, I would say. Yeah. But when you compare that for 170 points for him or for Grimnar, and then you look at Azriel. Ten points Azriel. more. It's silly. Oh yeah. And we when, still pick Azriel after all the three of them. If you compare those two to Dante, I would say they're about on par. So I think Dante should be around 170, 180 points. I would probably say 185 just because he has a jump pack and Helberg doesn't. Fair enough. And it's like 15, 17 points for a jump pack per character. Yeah. Um, and of course, yeah, he has an Inferno's pistol, but I mean, the combi melt is more than the Inferno's pistol anyway. But yeah, I agree. And I think for what Asriel brings, he should be 215 points. Ooh, 215 for Asriel? Oh no, that's two less Hellblasters! <laughs> I would put Azrael at exactly 200 points. Right. Because, sure, you are doing. You are giving the 4 up bubble. Actually, no, 215 would be just right because he also gives extra command point. 
I wouldn't... And he, and he rerolls like, on 5 up if he's the warlock. I wouldn't object to Dante being 215 or even 200 if he got a command point, his axe was flat 2 damage, and maybe, maybe had a different warlock trait. That's the way I think it should be. The axe should definitely be at least flat 2 damage. Because I, I understand the Blood Angels have got access to all the stratagems, of course, you can do um, upon the Wings of Fire, and then you've got Descent of Angels, you've got Red Rampage. He, acts, he has got access to a lot of very good stratagems. But why would you take him when you can have two captains? Like that's that's the question exactly yeah like there's the damage output between those two captains and dante is just yeah unreal let's have a look at some of the other guys let's have a look at kasora khan Kasora khan oh jesus he's really cheap how many points is khan on on foot without his bike he's 107 107 on foot how many points is he on the bike 132. So 25 points for the bike, which is about right. Wow. <laughs> let's, start with, let's start with him on foot. Yeah. So, so Movement 6, yep. uh, weapon skill, ballistic skill 2+, plus, strength and toughness 4, 5 wounds. Yep. So, in fairness, he does have one. I wonder if Dante has got the extra wound because of the Artificer armor. <sighs> Um, hold on. Uh, regular no. ca- yeah, because Hel- Helbrecht's got um, six wounds and he's got okay. high price armor. Okay, okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. I, I think there is. Yeah. But in Terminator armor also gives you plus one wound. Uh, yeah, plus one wound. And yeah, Khan has a trip armor, which is a power armor. Yeah. Yeah, Artif's armor, I think, gives you plus one wound as well. Oh. Khan is not a chapter master. Wow. Yeah. Right to battle, reroll hit rolls of a one. The role, the guy that has a Khan in his name is the chapter master of White Scars. I wonder if that is actually. I think I know. Oh. You can probably make him a chapter master with a stratagem then. Yes, you can. You can apply the Because he, ha- he has a can in his name, which implies that he's the chapter master. That's interesting. I'm, I'm going to have to Google that to find out if he I, is. I, I don't know if that may, may, may be um, oversight by GW by not giving him a chapter master role. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to have a look at the FAQ whilst you talk about him. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm pretty sure in the law it's established that in White Scars... Whoever has a Khan in his name is a chapter master. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, let's let's assume that was just an oversight that he's a chapter master because I don't think in the codex there's any other entry for white scars. No. What does his weapon do anyway? Let's start with his weapon. Weapon Moonfang. He is strength user, so strength four, minus three, d three damage. But it has a special. The weapon has strength times two if the target is a character. Yep. So it's basically better than the Dante's Axe. It he's is. Strength eight, he's strength eight against a character. Uh, it's actually strength nine because he adds one to the strength for friendly yeah, white sky that, units. That, that's even better. Strength nine. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's. The, the weapon is better than Dante's axe. He's strength 5 mm-hmm. if he swings normally. He's strength 9 if he swings against a character. And the plus 2 on Dante's uh, weapon doesn't mean anything because usually what you find is strength toughness 4 or toughness 5 at most. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay, that's... And he's apparently, according to the keywords, apparently he's just a captain. So, so is Vulcan yeah. Heston? Vulcan Heston is definitely a chapter master. 
Nope, he has the captain keyword. And he has a Vulcan in his deck. <laughs> this I is, think, wow. I think this might be on purpose because of the chapter master keyword, uh, chapter master strategy. But it's three command points to give reroll failed hits. Also, he's a forge fighter. His ability is a forge fighter. He, he has... Hold on. I, do you, have, you have the codex, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm reading it now. Can you open... There is like the before the statistics of the of the data sheets of the of the units. There is like a sections divide the chapters are divided like sections. Yeah. Can you go to Salamanders? Mm-hmm. I'm looking at Vulcan okay. Heston. Can you who's Vulcan Heston? Oh the well it's got the organization of the chapter. Give me a second. Iron hands, Raven Guard. Salamander. Uh, so the first company says the fire drakes great house chapter master in brackets regent of prometheus then it's got forge father forge father is technically first company ch uh, captain uh, Fulcan Hessen has the ability called forge father yeah, so he's basically the first company's captain. Which means that he should be a chapter master, right? No, he's the captain. Oh, captain. Yep, chapter master is still ranked above him. Does it say the name of a chapter master? Uh, in brackets, regent of Prometheus. Who is that? No idea. That is crazy. Every, everyone I saw, every battle report I saw with them, maybe was he was a chapter master. I don't know. I don't, huh. That is absolutely crazy. Okay, do you know what? Since all the, all those chap all those uh, chapters don't have per se chapter master, let's compare those captains. To Dante as well, because as we saw in the case of Khan, for the points he he for the points he costs, I would argue he's better than Dante even. Does he have a fixed warlord trait? Uh, Khan. Yeah. Uh, and come to think of it, what was Helbrecht's? Mm -hmm. uh, yes, yes, he has a set set uh, chapter uh, warlord trait. Uh, the Kant's is Deadly Hunter. Ah, so it's the White Scars one. Roll a dice each time your Warlord finishes a charge move for an enemy unit within one and on a four plus they suffer a mortal wound. That's all right. That's that, that's better than uh, Fearless Aura. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Helbrecht can actually perform heroic interventions from six inches away, much like the Space Wolves can. Space Wolves, yeah. Wow. Can on, a, on his bike... Instead of advancing, he he rolls a six. He just adds a six to his move. Yeah. And he gets one extra toughness, toughness. And an extra uh, wound. Is five and an extra wound. Yeah. Crazy. Also, Vulcan Hestan, the the captain. He has a Forge Father special rule, which means that you can reroll failed hit and wound rolls. For friendly salamanders within six of him that are firing melta and flame weapons. Yep. Which is pretty which, cool. Which you assuming you play salamanders, that's what you would help mostly. Most of most, most of the guys. Heston also has a three up invulnerable save and you have to re-roll ones for salamanders. So that's better than that is. Yep. Three up invulnerable against four up. He only he does only have uh, the gauntlet of the forge, which is a heavy flamer, and the spear of Vulcan, plus two strength, minus two d three damage. So it's one less AP than Dante. Yeah. And how many points is Vulcan? Uh, Vulcan one fifty four. Okay, so you know you can kind of understand the chapter master being around one seventy one eighty for giving up reroll all failed hits, because obviously Vulcan's is mainly for shooting. Uh, and then re-rolls of all ones. So, uh, you know what, I think Vulcan is fair for his points. 
I think he, yeah, he, no. he's spot on. Yeah, he's not too bad. He's pretty good. That way she should be there. And then the last one that we've got is uh, Kevin Shrike. Wow, is he a captain too? No, he is a chapter master. Chapter master. master. Wow. <laughs> okay, so he has a chapter master special. He has Iron Halo. He has Jump Pack Assault. And he has a pretty good role, uh, role special role, which Dante, I believe this role should belong to Dante. Yeah, agreed. You can reroll failed charge rolls for friendly Raven card jump pack units, not models, units with a six of them. Yep. This is such a good rule for Assault Army with jump packs. Dante should have that. Dante should have that. This, is, this screams to me, at least, Blood Angels. But not just that. I mean, I started playing 40k, beginning of 7th edition, and I had to use the 5th edition Codex. And in there, Dante could pick an enemy character, and they had, like, minus one wound, minus one weapon skill, minus one leadership for the whole battle. Just because of the Death Mask of Sanguinius. Like, oh. that's when the, That's when Blood Angels were good uh, in 5th edition, right? Yep. <laughs> that when, was the last time we were good. When Assault Marines were troops and we could take Land Raiders as dedicated transports and deep strike yeah, them. Deep strike. <laughs> that was hilarious, yeah. Oh, Jesus. This rule is so good. And the Raven Guard Warlord trait. Enemy units can't fight or watch against your Warlord. Angel's Wing. Yeah. He basically has the Angel's Wing. Yeah. <laughs> and you don't need to spend a CP to get an extra relic to get that in. Yeah. Oh, his weapon is interesting. Yeah, dual lightning cores, minus three, D3 damage, and reroll field wounds. Of course, his weakness is he is the only strength four, but that's not what he's about. Yeah, no, no. He's to give the buffs to the jumper cannons. How many points is Shrike? 150. He's cheaper than Heston. Yeah, he's cheaper than a captain. Wow. <laughs> I mean, he's slightly more than, than a slam captain. A slam captain's 129. Yeah, slightly. Well, yeah. If, if you knock off the, the storm shield, and then, of course, you would have to take the angel's wing, but he's allowing reroll all failed charges within six. Like, for units, not for models. That's important as well. Exactly. Like, that's phenomenal. Shrike is very cheap. Um, do you want to talk about one more chapter master? Hmm. <laughs> That's uh, he is a chapter master for the most glorious, the best um, chapter, uh, the best chapter in the history of Space Marines. Of course, we are talking about Rebute Gilliman. <laughs> nah, ch- nah, the other one, the smaller one, Who? the non important one. Who? Calgar. Who? M- Marnos Calgar. Who? My, I, I, I don't want to pronounce his Nobody name. Nobody knows who he is anymore. <laughs> I really don't want to pronounce his name anymore. It's a tongue twister for me. Nobody <laughs> knows who he is anymore, which is such a shame. Yeah, once G- Girly Man came out, then this guy kind of went to the shadows. Yeah. Yeah, and Papa Smurf is not happy with him. But anyway, <laughs> that's that's a different story. And we will look at him in a Terminator armor first before we check him in Artifice armor, which is more expensive. Well, technically, the Artificer armor, low is index. Technically, according to the Codex, you can't use that model anymore. Te- technically, yes, you cannot use the model anymore. So I think we stick to the Terminator armor then. Yeah, go on. Yeah. So he is 200 points, which is... 15 points cheaper than Dante. Yeah. He has armor of... Oh my god, how do you pronounce this? Uh, Antilochus? Antilochus. Antilochus, okay. Meaning basically he has 4 up in one. And all damage he suffers is halved up. He's he, halved. He's a stone up. horn. Yeah. He's a, if, if, if you know Sigma, he's a stone horn. Basically, he takes half damage. 
Oh, was it was was better better than Azrael, master tactician. If your army is battle forged, you receive two uh, two additional command points. Do you know what? No, he's more than Azrael, but you know what? For an extra twenty points for another command point, that's not bad. Oh, In comparison to Azrael, right? That's not bad. Yeah. You can also deep strike. Yeah. Uh, movement 5, Terminator Armor, Weapon Skill, Ballistic Skill 2 up, Strength Toughness 4, Regular, Space Marine Stats, Wounds 7, 5 attacks. Yeah. 2 up armor. So he has 7 wounds. I mean, Jesus. And you're half in the damage he takes. Yeah, and you're half in the damage. God. Wow. And and his it. his blades are nothing special. No, he, he's got the gauntlets of Ultramar, which are basically power fists. Yeah, but without the minus one. Yeah. Uh, and then he's got a relic blade, which is basically... Oh, look, it's like the Axe Mortalis. Except it doesn't real wounds. <laughs> yeah, plus two, minus three, D3. Yeah. Um, but then he's got the Gauntlets of Ultramar, which are rapid fire, two, strength four, minus one, two damage. So basically, it's a master crafted bolt rifle. Yeah, it with a better rapid fire. It rapid two. Yeah. Which in itself is still not bad. It's pretty good. Four shots with two damage. I mean, look, if you compare him to uh, Grimnar, you know what? He's still pretty decent. You're paying 30 points to half the damage, keep him alive a bit longer, and you're getting two command points for 30 points over Grimnar. Yeah, yeah. And seeing that it's a Space Marine armies that usually struggle with command points, those two command points are very viable. Yeah, absolutely. But again, Manius Kalgar deferred leadership over to Dante. Why does Dante not oh. have... He also has an interesting command point. Uh, uh, Warlord trait. Which I'm just getting to. It's the Ultramarine one, isn't it? Added of the Codex. On a 5 up, you get a CP back. Oh, that's just like Azrael. Yeah. So he's... Do you know what? He's 200 points. And I think 200 points is fair for him. Yeah, no. 200 points is just right there. For the thing he does, yeah. He's more expensive than Azrael, which he should be, because he gives more points, command points. So 20, so 20 points for one more command point, I think that's a good trade. Yeah, and then of course you're half in the damage that he takes. Yeah, so he's, he survives more. But at the same With time, the wounds as well. at the same time, you don't have that 4 pin vulnerable ball. Oh no, he has 4 vulnerable he has one, but you don't. He doesn't have the bubble. Oh yeah, the bubble. Yeah. So for twenty points, you are exchanging four up in one for one extra command point, and he survives more. Which yeah, it's. I mean, just the one extra command point. That's that's all. That's that's that making the difference. But when you when you compare this to Dante, right? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why? He's 15 points less. He's got all the same rules. As in reroll failed hits, deep strike, things like that. The Relic Blade matches the Axe Mortalis apart from Dante gets reroll failed hits. Uh, against character, Wounds against characters. But Kalgar has a Power Fist, which is strength at 8. And it doesn't have minus 1. Exactly. His gun also serves him, I feel, a little bit better because, let's face it, an Inferno pistol, whilst it looks great on paper, it's range 6. To be fair, it has the same damage potential. Yeah. Because 4 shots and it's damage too, meaning it would be... Two, eight that would be 8 damage. Yeah. If you get all of them, yeah, 8 damage. Yeah. The Inferno pistols are good, they're just too random. Yeah. Especially it's just a single shot. Yeah. For 200 points, I would take Kalgar and a Blood Angel Army over yeah, Dante. Yeah, yeah. No, I, I really would, and, and that is the sad thing. 
Do you know what? I, I, I don't even think... Comparing Cal Guy to Azrael, I think you probably hit the nail on the head. I think Azrael should be 200. Yeah. Okay, because for being vulnerable in exchange for losing a command point and not getting the deep strike ability with Calgar, obviously you, you wound less, um, but that's it. With the current rules, I believe Calgar should be 215, Azura should be 200, and Dante should be in 180, 180, 185. Yeah, absolutely. Or leave da- give Dante one command point, right? And give him re-roll field, all uh, re-roll field charges with Blood Angel units within six. If that, if he was two hundred to two fifteen, then, then I think he'd be viable. That, yeah, that he could be viable. Yeah. That I think makes him viable. But current stance, no. No oh, way. And that oh. that's the really sad thing. And you know what, like. If you have listened to this all the way at the end, guys, I know it's been like 50 minutes nearly, but you know what? Please email GW uh, to 40kfaq at gwplc.com. Try and highlight all, all everything that we've highlighted there because our chapter master sucks. Yeah. I mean, um, I mean, come on, Matt. Look at Heston and Khan. For like, and they're captains. And then the nearly is good, and the, the half the price. Yeah. The only thing they don't have is the mobility. But even then, can have can 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 have a, a bike. Yeah. Which means he's moving fourteen, not twelve. Yeah. Also, I want to compare one more thing that yeah. we have missed. Our our glorious cousin in arms. Of course. Gabriel Seth, yes. which we cannot forget because that would be a blasphemy. blasphemy. It was. So, uh, statistics. So movement 6, weapon ballistic skill 2, strength toughness 4. 6 wounds, 4 attacks, armor safe 3 up. Special rules. Chanter Master, flesh tires, reroll felt hits. Iron Halo, 4 up and boom. Lord of Slaughter. Roll a d6 each time a friendly flesh terror's unit finishes its move within 6 of him. When it consolidates. On a 6, that unit can immediately fight for a second and final time. Oh! <laughs> That's nasty. Do you know what that means? If you have a 15-man death company with him, sure, it's only on a roll of 6, but... Thunder Hammers can fight again just for free. Say that again because you got cut off there. Sorry. If you have a fully stacked out dead company unit with him, and if you roll that lucky six, sure it's only one in a six time, but it's possible it happens, they can just fight again. Is that his warlord trip or just his special rule? Just, just special ability. Wow. And it doesn't end there. He has another rule. Whirlwind of Gore. Each time you roll a six in a fight phase, you make one additional hit. That's cool. So even though he has only four attacks, you can if you roll that two sixes, you have six attacks. And of course, he does have access to Red Rampage as well. And his weapon, <laughs> which remember when we talked about Dante's axe? Yeah. You're gonna hate this weapon. Blood Reaver, strength times two, AP minus two, flat three. Why? And it doesn't have minus one to hit. Does not. He's strength eight, minus two, flat three. And of course, he gets a plus one to wound, so he's wounded land raiders on threes. Uh. That's a weird thing now because in his selection rules it doesn't say that he has red tears. Um, sure, Blood Angel successes that's, that's, get it. I, yeah, that's probably just an uh, oversight by GW, I'm gonna guess. Or maybe just the fault of the battle scribe. 
that doesn't show there. But I'm, we're gonna assume he has the plus one to hunt. Which is oh, why? Why is he better than Dan A? Guess uh, how many points? One forty. <laughs> one thirty-five. What? <laughs> um. Why? <laughs> Uh, yeah. that, that's six points more than a slam captain. So that's all ninety points cheaper. Wow. Eighty, yeah, 90 80, cheaper. 80 points cheaper than it. Eighty. Eighty, yeah. Jeez. So eighty points, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> he rolls failed hits. He has prop end one on a six. A flesh thirty unit can fight again. Uh, on a 6-up, he inflicts additional hit. His weapon is times 2, minus 2, flat 3. No minus 2 hit. <laughs> that's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. That's, that's a joke. But, of course, if you go flesh terrors, you can't take the angel's way. Yeah, yeah, no, you can't. Which I do feel kind of sucks. Yeah, you would think that they should have access as well, right, to the relics? Yeah, apparently they don't because of, uh, I think it's something to do with them being a successor chapter and not having the Blood Angel keyword, which yeah, believe... is silly, but... It's not only for them, any successor chapter from other chapters doesn't get the relics. Yeah. Which is weird, but hey, what can you do? That's, I mean, I mean, still, like, just him alone. I mean, take you can. People are playing go in line with him, having him as a chapter master and like three squads of full devastators or predators. Because again, one hundred thirty-five points. You reroll all failed hits, which is insane. Because like even a captain is like, a bog standard captain's what ninety odd points. Seventy-seven is a captain. Bare bones captain is seventy-seven. To reroll once. Once. And of and course, you know how many as, as your predators degrade, yeah. your, your um, ballistic skill goes down, not the modifier. So of course, you, with reroll failed hits, even if your ballistic skill five plus, you're still rerolling all of them failed misses. Yeah. Okay. Wow. Oh, and let's see. Uh, his warlord trait. Oh. Uh, selfless valor. Heroic intervention is six inches, not three. Cool. And if he does so, he can move up to six inches rather than three in the pile, I think. So he does the heroic intervention on six, and then you can pile him, pile him, pile in him six inches. Wow. <laughs> That's pretty neat. That just screams, take me. Unless <laughs> he does. That's absolutely nuts. That's that's really insane. So we have uh, we have compared Dante with Seth, Azrael, Lorga, Logan Grimnar, uh, Helbrecht, Kalgar, Voldus, and Drago. Now these are just chapter masters. And te- we also, technically, we've looked at uh, Heston. Yeah, Khan. Heston can strike. Yeah. Wow. GW, if you're listening, please fix down here. Please. That's all I've got. That, that, that's all I've got to say, and, and I'm sure that's all Matthew pretty much has to say after we've just discovered all of that. Yeah. So that was quite interesting and depressing at the same time. Yeah. So that's it, guys. Thank you very much for watching and listening. Uh, please check out the rest of the channel. Please go and love your blood angels and uh, please email JW. Hashtag make the golden hug hawk boy glorious again. <laughs> See you next time guys.